All right. I think we are. Uh, let me just check here and make sure that we are live in all of the places. Click, click, click. Okay. It looks like Instagram is good. Periscope. I'm, I'm so glad we figured out Periscope. It makes me so happy. Um, Facebook, YouTube. Good. All right. Sweet. So we are in business as it were, ladies and germs. Now we're going to do some fancy fun things today. I don't know if you noticed uh, yesterday's live stream left a little bit to be desired. It was a little bit low quality, uh, but that was mostly just because it was, um, I was trying something new with some different systems that didn't really work the way I wanted to. So um, we, I didn't get a chance to really go through that much, but um, today, again, I, I wanted to, to go with the shorter route and just talk about one little thing and maybe not go on for an hour, which I have done in the past. Uh, but just, I want to show you, like I mentioned yesterday, I want to show you my, my like task management system, the way that I, the way that I run stuff. Um, so, uh, yeah, so, uh, I'll, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to dive into that in just a second, but first I wanted to just reiterate a lot of the stuff I was saying yesterday about sleep, man, I, I actually got good sleep last night and I, I can just further attest to how important it is to make sure that you're getting good sleep and that you're not, um, you're not hurting yourself uh, in that way. It's just not it's just not a good situation to be in um, if you're not sleeping. So make sure that you do that. Also today, I'm going to be showing some screen stuff. I'm going to try and like have it set up. I've set up some some cool pre pre configured like transitions and stuff. So I want to try and make sure that this is set up so that those of you that are on Instagram watching this, whether the live stream or later, will actually be able to participate because. Most of the stuff I'm doing is on my my screen, so it's widescreen. And if I if I made it tall format, then I'd have to do it tall format for all the different streams, which I could do. Anyway, I'm going to play around with some different things and see what I like best. Um, but for those of you on Instagram, I'm going to try and get it so that it so that at least you see kind of what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Um, and hopefully that will that'll be good. So um, anyway, um, as I mentioned, there's going to be some cool little transition effects. So let's, we're going to go transition and we're going to talk about my setup. Boom. So like I talked about, I wanted to, today I wanted to take you through and give you an idea of how my, uh, what my workflow is like. And I actually, I bounce around between machines and in fact, and maybe tomorrow I'll give you a rundown of the way that I have my machine, my machine set up. Cause I, I have a windows slash Ubuntu running on this laptop. And then I've got a Mac MacBook pro running beneath. And I actually have it set up so that one screen in front of me is running from the Ubuntu and one is running from the Mac. So I can actually use both at the same time, which I really like because it allows me to do task like resource intensive things on both machines. So like I can be editing video on the Mac which it's better at. And then if I need to just be doing something else, like doing a video call or something on my, on the, the Ubuntu machine, I can do that quickly and easily. And also like for, for uh, compatibility sake, Ubuntu is like, it's not the most compatible with other things. And so it's nice to have Mac OS up there easy for me to use. So, but uh, let me just show you my screen here and I'm going to walk you through. And I apologize if you're on Instagram, you're not seeing this. I'll do a little, a little uh, pan uh, from side to side so that the Instagrammers can see uh, what I'm talking about here. But the idea basically is uh, I've got different sections set up for different things that I'm doing. And I actually, uh, let me give you a little bit more background. I uh, I have, have yet to like find a really good uh, graphical um, task manager. So far I've found some tools that are okay, but nothing that really... Um, nothing that really hits uh, the way that I think it's supposed to and uh, nothing that really does everything that is, that it's, you know, that it's uh, intended to do um, because sweet. Um, simply because it doesn't have like, that's not what it's, um, that's just not how it's designed is essentially what it comes down to. So anyway, sorry, I got distracted there for a second. But what I did find was this other, this, this task, this uh, command line task management system called, called Task Warrior. And I'll actually pull up 
Um, so you can see here, Task Warrior is just awesome, in my opinion. I, it's 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 basically everything um, that I wanted in a in a task management system because it it lets me handle all the config. It lets me do all the work for how I want it to work. So let me show you again. We'll get back over to here. Uh, I've got some different windows up here. You, on, my, on the left up here, you can see I've got uh, the weather that's being pulled in um, it's for San Diego. And it's just going to give me it's give me the current weather, and then it gives me the next three days worth of uh, whatever. I just like that because um, I think it's kind of cool. It takes up about a quarter of my screen real estate, which isn't probably the most effective use, but whatever. Um, and then from there, I've got different panels. So on this side, I've got a burn down chart. You can see I don't uh, complete things very quickly. <laughs> and I, I add things about, about as fast as I remove them, um, which is funny. If I was to do a uh, yearly burn down chart, uh, yearly, oops, task burn down monthly, uh, you would see a much bigger, in fact, if I do it this way, um, I think I can do weekly. I'll do daily. It gives you kind of an idea. This is my flow of like tasks. You can see um, green is done tasks, uh, pink is the pending, and then yellow is the starting, which I don't have any there. But anyway, it gives me a list of my tasks um, that I can I can add tasks to this list. And this this gives me gives it to me a list. Now the thing that was really important about this was that it allows me to configure my own order of importance for these tasks, okay? And the, the way that I configure that actually is, let's go here, um, uh, CD task are, so, oh, actually, I just wanna open that up. Uh, okay, uh, so what I can do here is I can actually configure exactly how uh, each of these things is supposed to supposed to work, and this is great because there are some changes that I actually need to make right now. So you're going to see uh, I can make some changes to the way that these tasks show up, like what order they show up in, and how that all works, um, simply by configuring this uh, this file here. So if I go here and I say urgency, I'm going to pull over all of my these. Bingo. Okay, and we'll change all of this. Perfect. So now if I go back over here, you'll notice these things will have changed order. Yep, so now if I say task, um, this is gonna put things in a different order because what I just did is I gave things different priorities. So you can see up here I had, you know, it had a certain order based on the priority that was given to it for all these different things, and it changed when I, when I sorted things differently. Now that might seem boring and annoying and like not doesn't have anything to do with anything, but it's actually kind of cool because when you um, uh, when you are dealing with um, uh, what do you want to call it when you're dealing with tasks when you're dealing with like projects none of us are really good especially freelancers we're not we're we're really good at either deciding what tasks need to be done so super high level or doing tasks. Like we're really good if you give us a list of things, we're really good at like just powering through. We're not really good at everything in between. And I know that I in particular am very bad at uh, managing my time effectively. Most of the time, if I don't have this in place, what I see is I end up, I just do whatever is the most recent thing that came on my list or whatever is the most fun. Um, and, uh, and so I run into this problem all the time where I, I get my, find myself way behind, but it's just because I didn't have a good system for telling me what to do next. And I haven't found a good, a good uh, tool that does that. I've, I've actually tried to build it several times and then I found that it's here and it's fine. Uh, although I may take some of the tech, the, the tools here and the, the code here and, 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 uh, build onto it and make something that's more usable, I guess I could say in, in the, the grand sense, because I honestly think what it is, is. You have to, in order to create a manager, a task manager, what you need is to tell it the parameters of, um, of what's important when and, and what, what gives something priority over something else. What, what thing can you tell the system to tell you what to do? And then the most important thing is that that has to then spit back 
your task list that you gave it in priority order and tell you this is what you should be doing right now. Now, best case scenario, it also tells you how far behind you are. And it also tells you how long it's going to take you to complete each project so that you can adequately and accurately give estimates to your clients. Uh, but, but that, and that actually, you can do that with this. The problem is there's not a way for me to run. I can only run burn downs on everything or by project, but it doesn't take into consideration the other things that I'm building. So what it would, what it'd really be nice is if there was a way for me to say, based on what I have now, my, this project will be done on such and such date because of where the, those tasks fit in the timeline. So associating not just a task. So you want to be able to associate a task with a date that it's going to be done, or at least a date when it's going to be started. Um, and you do that by, first of all, putting it in priority order, then telling the system how many hours per day you work and what days you work, and then putting an estimate on each of the tasks based on you know a bunch of different factors. So you can basically give yourself a, a schedule and it says, these are the things that I need to do. This is what it's going to take for me to get them done. This is how long it's going to take me to get through those things. And that way, not only do you have a burn down of how long, like how long it's going to take you to finish these things based on how long it's taken you to finish stuff in the past, but also how long it's going to take you to complete these projects based on 